everyone! So today we are doing a very exciting video. Before we get into it, I'm sure there's already people curious about what is on my wrist. This is a wrist brace. I'm experiencing some carpal tunnel, probably because I have the like least ergonomic editing setup and I'm like constantly editing, working on it, but for now I'm gonna wear a wrist brace to help with that. But yeah, that's not what the video is about. So today, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be doing a kitchen makeover for zero dollars. Now, I'm already gonna come out and say it, I've already cheated a little bit. If you watched Friday's video, we epoxied the countertops, which ended up costing just under a hundred dollars, but that was in a separate video, but we are going to be finishing that kitchen off with pieces that I already have. Now, if you've seen my bathroom makeover that I did where I spent zero dollars on it, you'll know I have spent money on it, but it's only things that I have right now if that makes sense. I will admit I have a unfair advantage because not only do I hoard like <laughs> renovation supplies, but I also have overstock from past videos that I often will like dip into in this type of video, if that makes sense. Like right now the camera is set up on one of my organizers that holds all of my um, legs, handles that I've seen at like HomeSense and just wanted to buy even though I had no use for them yet. So I have quite a bit of items so doing a makeover for zero dollars is not very difficult because there's a lot of things that I can reach for. But I still feel like it's a really fun concept because you kind of have to make things work, if that makes sense. Like often when I'm doing a renovation video, I'll make a little list and I'll just go out and get everything that I need. But this sort of pushes me to use some of the things that I already have so that nothing's just like sitting and not being used. Whether it's paint, whether it's material, whether it's handles, we're gonna use some stuff today. So hopefully you guys think this concept is fun and maybe it'll inspire you to go like into your storage and look around and see if you have any decor pieces laying around or cans of paint that you could like zhuzh up a room with. I don't know. I think it's fun. Today we're doing my mom's kitchen. If you missed Friday's video, I suggest watching that first, but the countertops are already done. Very budget friendly in my opinion for getting new countertops, but yeah, that was a separate video. We're not going to talk about it right now, but it is kind of a cheat. I'm sorry. I promise, or at least I said my promise, that will be the only cheat in this video, but Let's begin. So I have my reusable bag here and basically I'm going to be shopping through my supplies. Now I have already talked with my mom because it's her kitchen. So I wanted her input. So we have the color story down. She went ahead and looked through my stuff prior to filming this. So I kind of know what I need to grab, but I'm also just going to look through and see if there's anything more that's exciting. So let's shop my supplies. Also, yes, I have lots of stuff. Um, I have a problem but I can't help it. So if you watched my last video that was similar to this one where I did my bathroom for zero dollars, you probably saw most of my organization was in here. So I since actually got a little bit better organizers over there, which I'll show you. But in here, we have lots of tiles and tile cutters, but I don't think we will have any use for these, which is too bad, but the flooring at my mom's place is pretty good. We also have some like rolls of sticky laminate to go over countertops. There are three rolls back here. We have a black, a white, and also like this white with lots of gray. I used that in my previous video, but I don't think I'll need it for this one. I also have some extra tubs of epoxy. Yeah, I don't think I need anything in here. I'm looking around, there's some grout over there. I don't think so. And then these are my new organizers. They're from Ikea. I really, really love them. They're great because they're like thin and wide for storing things. And this is where most of the stuff is. And then over at storage, I have lots of decor, but we'll get to that after. I'm talking with my hand a lot, really showing off this wrist brace, getting my money's worth. So let's take a look. My mom was mentioning that she actually had some of these handles. So I think we're just going to spray paint those. Initially, I was really, really wanting to use these ones. I got these at HomeSense. I had absolutely nowhere to use them yet, but I love them. I also have these from Flip. I don't think anything in here. And then I keep all of the ones from my Facebook Marketplace revamps, just in case, you know, you never know when you may need them. You never know. I'm trying to think if I'll need any filler. I'm pretty sure the holes will be in the same spot. Spots. Uh, I might need these squishy round brushes, no sanding blocks. 
more handles, my stapling gun. Okay, in this one, we have some froggy tape, which I think we'll need. Lots of brushes in here. These aren't my favorite brushes, but I'll bring some over just in case. In this room, we have some legs and also some stencils. Now, I initially bought these for a bathroom reno I was gonna do, but then with COVID, I wasn't able to do it. And initially, I bought these ones because they hadn't looked at the sizing. And then when they showed up, I was like, okay, they're way too small. So then I got these ones, which are big. I don't know if any of these will be the right size for my mom's backsplash, but I think we'll make them work. Even if they're too big, we could always cut the edges. And then if these are too small, I feel like that will make them work. So definitely going to have to decide with my mom which style she likes. I'll actually do that right now. Ooh. No. No, too too leafy. Again, no. Yeah, that one looks country kitchen. I'm <laughs> No, I like country kitchen, but I don't think that's what we're going for with this one. That's pretty. <laughs> what do you, I, I like it. Country kitchen. Way too no, much. No, too swirly. Way too much. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so small. Ah, uh, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. That's, That's cute. That's pretty. This has my, been my maybe my favorite so far. Mm-hmm. That one looks dated to me a bit. Yeah. That is not the right vibe. That could be. Okay. okay, we narrowed it down quite a bit. So we'll take all three of these over, okay. and then we'll make the decision on the stencil for this. Okay, I'm excited. Me too. As you can see, this is Chip's chair. It's got all the stuff on here. Okay, let's see. My drill, hammer. I might need this stuff eventually when I'm hanging things, but not yet. Oh, this wallpaper. I forgot about this. I have some pink, like, flamingo wallpaper. Okay, this is an important drawer. I have spray paint for the handles. Lots a fusion paint options. These are all cans that I've actually opened before. I honestly don't know when I got this abundance of spray paint, but it's just been building up, which is great because I love having the gold white and the black options. We're going to be using the matte black today. These colors right here are all paints that I've already used. This is an ultra grip that I bought, and then this is a top coat, and then this is a top coat. Also, we'll probably be using the Ultra Grip and maybe the Tough Coat. I don't think we'll be using any of these colors. Actually, wait, I think we might need this one. Yeah, we might need the extra of this one. The plan that my mom and I have decided on is we're gonna do the upper cabinets white and then the bottom cabinets a fun color, which I'll show you right now. And here is my giant paint drawer. I have an addiction. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. But it isn't. So when I was showing my mom my paint drawer, I basically told her to pick out her favorites and she chose this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So from there, we had to narrow it down and I think that we had decided on the lower cabinets being this color, which is called Pressed Fern. It's like a beautiful greeny blue, very excited about it. So here is the color for the upper cabinets. I had a new picket fence and two old ones. And then here is for the upper. I really like the idea of the dark color on the bottom because I think it's gonna really ground the whole thing, yet with the white, it'll keep it open since it is a smaller space. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw all of this in here and then I'm gonna drive over to my mom's place and we will get working. She's over there right now. So, so far I've spent zero dollars right now, but in like past me, I spent a fair bit, but yeah, that's it. All right, outfit is on. That can only mean one thing. The renovation is about to begin. Here is what the kitchen looked like before the countertop. So that's like the very, very beginning. And then this is what it looks like now, obviously. I absolutely love the way these countertops turned out if you guys are wanting to revamp your countertops make sure to watch friday's video but to start on the rest of everything we're going to be taking off the old handles because we've got some different ones and then we're going to be wiping everything down with tsp this does a really good job at removing any grease especially in the kitchen where you're going to be like cooking there's gonna be oils and stuff like that paint often won't like adhere to 
a material that has grease on it so this is a good way to ensure that all the grease is off so I'm just gonna go through and spray everything wipe it down and pop off the handles could I please get my assistant in here <laughs> You can take the handles <laughs> okay. off. I'll spray everything down. <laughs> Okay, now everything is wiped down and the handles are almost off. Just one final one. <laughs> oh, look at our little fondue pots from last year with your COVID fondue. Remember? Uh, Maybe we'll tell them what do you again. mean remember? Of course I remember. <laughs> we ate all this, these cans of tuna to make all these individual fondue pots. <laughs> so now that everything is wiped down, we are going to pop off the cabinet doors right over here we're just gonna push in and they pop off because we're going to paint the faces in the other room just so that we can really get a nice finish on there we got it painting ready we decided we're going to like paint right on the top of here so let me just start pulling things off this is hard because there's no handle Oh yeah, now everyone gets to see the inside right. of my very messy cupboards. <laughs> Um, yes. <laughs> While you're here, like, painting Thank my you. covers, I don't want you to get dehydrated. I could use some water. <laughs> First coat, I'm on green, you're on white. white. Let's get to it! Ding. Happy painting! Happy painting. This paint is, like, oh my gosh, let me try. Really stuck on there. Your new countertop? <laughs> Very beautiful. Oh, what do you think? You like it? I love it. It's a really interesting green, isn't it? It is. I'm just excited I mean, to see what some white cabinets up top look like. Yeah. Because I think the dark will ground your kitchen and the light will open it up. Yeah. It's like a perfect mix. You saying I need grounding? I think you need to be grounded. <laughs> oh, I'm loving that green. Goodbye, golden oak. coat is done we're just gonna let it dry while the door is dry we're just going to paint all of the casings and everything like up there down here the whole entire island I really really want to try doing a backsplash tile just to see how it'll go uh, I don't know if I should just yet but like I'm tempted maybe I'll do a little bit of painting and then I'll try yeah I'll do that I'm just being really careful with how I paint here because the inside of the cabinets are white and we like to keep them white so I'm just trying to not paint on the inside. That's looking good up there. Thanks. It looks really nice and open. Oh, up. yeah. The new countertops are getting broken in. <sighs> okay, so I have this uh, Ultra Grip bonding agent, and I'm just going to put a really, really thin coat on this tile, just because painting on tile can sometimes be a little bit problematic. So this is going to be like a sticking agent. 
I don't know. I got this for painting tiles a while back. Never got to use it, but now we're using it. The videos I've seen on this has like said that it will add like kind of like a chalky look to the tiles. So I don't know how I'll like that, but I think it's worth a try. Just going to put a little bit of that all over in the hopes that it will stick better. So we had narrowed it down to three stencils. This is drying really quickly, so I feel like you and I need to talk about stencils okay. now. Okay. So we have this one that's a little bit bigger. Mm. And then we have these two, which like are a little small, but I feel like they'd fit okay. You hold. Okay. And I'll hold. Okay. And you need to seriously think about okay. it. Okay. I like this one a lot, but I also like that one for the bigness of it. I would say this one. This one's more fun, I think. I think so too. I think we should do this. Stencil. Okay. I think so too. It's chosen. I'm going to tape this up with froggy tape. Now they're a little small. Like if I was getting these for this size of tile, I probably would have went a little bit bigger with the stencil, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to lightly tape it. And this is another thing. Like I've never staped or stapled. I've never done this before, okay? I've never done it. And then basically I'm gonna dip in the paint and then on a plate gonna tap off almost all of the paint. This is what I've seen from printing backsplashes and videos. You have to get almost all the paint off and then you lightly stamp. Oh, I'm concerned. I'm concerned, fine, I said it, I'm concerned. Here's what it looks like on the wall. It's got a little bit of give to it as you can see and that's why I just wanna use a little dry brush to do it. Also, I took off all of the outlet covers so I can't procrastinate any longer. I must try it. Okay, I'm going to pour this. Ah, and I'm using black, which is going to be very dark, obviously. So I'm just going to dip this little sponge in some paint. And as you can see, it's too much. So I'm going to dab it until it's like pretty much dry, like very dry. <laughs> and let's just see. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say yet. Just making sure to not come at it from like an angle, just like straight up and down. Is anyone still wondering why I have carpal tunnel? All right, the moment, oh my gosh, I missed the spot. Hold on. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> oh. Oh my. <laughs> well, that looks cute. That looks really cute. That looks pretty good, I think. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? It looks, it looks good. really good. I think it looks awesome. I like it. Very cute. I think it looks really good. Okay, only like a hundred more to go. <laughs> good luck. and I could help. Me too. If I could have spent money, I would have bought two. <laughs> up the second coat. I think we will need a third coat, so we'll see when that's done. Oh, it looks so cute. Yeah, it's coming together slowly but surely. Second coat. My legs are hurting. It has been a long, <laughs> long journey for these stencils. I will say you save money, but it depends what your time is worth. <laughs> it is a lot. Because if you think your time is worth a lot, and like if you don't think this looks like a ton of fun, then I don't know. Like, 
I think it'll turn out good, but it's a lot of work. I think it's gonna be really worth it though, honestly. I think it's really nice. Yes, I agree. I just like, <laughs> I've gotta be honest. <laughs> If anyone is curious how we now both have a stencil, we're still using just the one stencil, but once we were done doing full tiles, we cut the stencil in half so we both could work with a piece. Mom. <laughs> You guys, the backsplash is done. The paint is done, I think. You never really know. And like, look at my fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Oh God. <laughs> Boy. It's looking really good, you guys. We just took the tape off. Seriously. Just hang on, what's happening here? Cause, okay, so that's the bottom of that one, right? Yeah, but that one's wrong too. <laughs> Are you talking about that one? No, the two above it. Yes, they're pointing the wrong way. <laughs> Mia, tomorrow you'll look and it will be fixed. I'll be like digging through the garbage, getting that stencil out. Literally? <laughs> <laughs> that thing doesn't look right. Put them in. All right, you guys, we're just gonna finish putting on the cabinet doors and we will see you tomorrow for the decorating and the finishing touches, so see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, it is the next day. We are at storage right now where all of the decor is. I remember in the last video, I was like, you probably don't understand why I have decor, but now since then, our flip house video went up, so you know now, that is where I've been storing all of like the decor and furniture from that. I don't know, maybe it's just a hoarding thing. I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> There are secrets revealed. I will get rid of it eventually, <laughs> but like there always has to be like a six month waiting period of me just like having it and then finally I can part with it. But in this case, it comes in handy because we're gonna go in there, we're gonna see firstly for some decor, but also I'm pretty sure I have some like high up chairs that might look really good in the kitchen. I have my mom here. <laughs> so we're gonna go in and take a look. We're going in. Here we are. All right. Oh yeah. Ah! It was full before and then my dad stuffed the sprinter in here. <laughs> a bunch of decor and then up here I have four of these like high chairs. I think we'll grab two of those. I think those will look really good. Like I like the black and then the tops of them are actually wood which I think will look really good in there. Work my way around all this stuff. <laughs> Like seriously, look. <laughs> How did dad even fit this in here? It's so, here. oh my gosh, mom, look. Aw, it's the so cat from the Etsy video. So, shopping in Mia's little stash. Literally. Yeah, one high plant would be really yeah, good, I think. Yeah, I agree. Cutting board. I remember Tate cooked cut raw chicken on here and forgot to clean it and that was a bacteria problem. You guys, this should show you I keep everything. Like these were from my mom's bathroom reno. She was like, yeah, we can just get rid of those. I was like, <laughs> yeah, look who's the hoarder now. I love this. I actually bought this from oh, my yeah. place. That's cute. Isn't that cute? It's actually like, uh, it's glass that they found, I'm pretty sure, in the ocean. So oh. they were turning like litter into sea like, glass. Yeah, kind of cool. Okay. What do you think of the lemons? I love the lemons. Am I draining my stock right now? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Yeah. It's hard to part with all my. Well, Stop! you know what? 
I was literally talking to my mom yesterday. I was like, I don't know why I have like this withdraw issue where when we're painting, I like am scared to use the paint. <laughs> I miss the paint as soon as it's used up. <laughs> Mia scrape the paint off. She wants it back. I just want to keep them. <laughs> okay, so now is kind of the difficult part. I have to try and get these chairs from up here, which means I have to put my bag down. I feel like I should go up there and then I'll pass them down to you. I'll go up there. No, 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 no. You're not going up. Mom, I am way more able. <laughs> I can do this. What the frick, mom? Mom! Oh, it's Look not that it. serious. See? It's not that serious. <laughs> These are really These cool. These are so cute. They are so cute. Yeah, see the top is like wood, you guys. Yeah, so I think it'll really like nice. add to sort of the window casing. It's a little darker, but I think it'll bring it in. Yeah. This is a wood. It'll bring it in. All right, let's put this in the car. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, we got everything home now. I also grabbed this little bin. This was from my Etsy haul. I haven't found homes for any of this stuff yet. So I thought maybe some of this stuff could go at my mom's place. We'll see, I don't know yet what's gonna go anywhere. But firstly. I'm pretty sure my neighbors think I'm insane. <laughs> I have all of these black handles that I painted. I put one on and I have all of the rest to put on. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Sometimes when you're putting the screws in after painting, it can be a little bit of a long process if there's like paint buildup or anything like that. So just a lot enough time for this step because it takes longer than you'd expect. That's what I find. Oh my goodness, look how that black handle looks. Whoa! That pops! That pops, yeah, I love that. It's popping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, the handles are on that really completed it. Now we're just going to decorate with all the pieces that we already had. We'll see what we can put together. Literally look at the mess out there. <laughs> Don't look at that. Look what I just did. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All right, you guys, it is finally time to show you the final reveal of this kitchen makeover. is so much fun for many reasons. Firstly, I like trying to make do with things that I have and I know that I have accumulated a lot of decor and like reno stuff because it's something that I love to do on my channel and I always get a little bit too much when I'm doing a renovation. But I mean, when you can put it to use like this, it is so rewarding. Seriously, I didn't have to go to the store once. I definitely suggest going through your storage or just looking around your house for little things that you might be able to DIY or extra paint cans laying around for a little like wallpaper feature wall. Definitely would suggest doing that and see what you guys can find. I'm sure there's something there's got to be some even if it's just like a fork and you hang it on the wall And now you have a decor piece of a fork I don't know if that's really the vibe you're going for but you know what I mean It's fun to shop your own stuff So if you guys end up trying any like at-home decor DIYs or renovations Make sure to send me them over on Instagram because I would love to see what you guys came up with and I am just so happy with how everything turned out. If you guys missed the countertop video, make sure to go watch that one because I am like 
obsessed with how that worked out as well and that was also pretty budget friendly in comparison to like a granite countertop this was under a hundred dollars so pretty decent what am i talking about what is going on i just like i feel we've been renovating all week and now i feel a little bit like whoa wait it's done huh but anyways i will stop rambling on i hope you guys enjoyed this video my mom is so happy with how her kitchen turned out and i am very excited with how it turned out i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one bye